Um, I find it very interesting. I would just love your thoughts on this. Um, that music that uh, has a lot of low frequency bass tones tends to evoke people to m dance with a lot of um, uh, trunk and what we would call proximal musculature, which is nerd speak for movement of the, of the core muscles and then the muscles closer to the midline. Whereas high frequency music, people, when they hear high frequency music, will actually often raise, the, raise a hand and start moving their fingers. It's as if they're playing the, the music, but, and, but if you look at different forms of dance, and I've been doing this in anticipation of a, of a guest coming to the podcast who's a, you know, a world-renowned choreographer, you can see when low frequency sounds are played, bass drums and things of that sort, the movements tend to be very, um, very proximal musculature dominated. Whereas when high frequency sounds are made, people will actually lift themselves up. You know, if you watch ballet, which I've been watching more and more ballet recently for this reason, um, and they're moving their, the digits on their fingers. It's really incredible. Like there's almost like the, the sound frequency map is correlated with a body frequency map mm -hmm. of a frequency map. And it sounds crazy, but we're neuroscientists. So I can say this kind of thing with some degree of, of, of assuredness that I'm not crazy, at least not in this dimension. Mm -hmm.